I'm boiling some water. So uh, this is a tea that I got from Bangkok. Chao Gulan is like a herbal green tea. So I'm gonna force everyone that I see living in this village drink this tea. It's 4:30 p.m. Uh, it's probably 5 p.m. right now. So better to have it now than later. So uh, I'm gonna make one cup for the mother, uh, another one for the niece. years later. I wonder what does this uh, represent? Should I wear this uh, mask and stop in the tea? It doesn't smell too bad. It's made from like paper. Ah, oh my god. I can't see. I can't see. Okay, um. Uh, I have a hard time seeing too. Uh, I don't want to spill the tea on them. I'm not gonna wear the helmet. One for mother, the other one for the husband. I'm gonna place this in a dining room, anyone can drink it if they want. Okay, uh, so once I hear a bit of boil in the water, I will just off this and I'll pour them into here. Because I don't, you know, green tea are not meant to be bought super hot, unlike black tea. So light teas and green tea, right? Um, supposed to be around like 70, 80 degrees. So they are not meant to be super hot like uh, black tea does. So I'm gonna find the mother and give one of these. Anyway, have I taken off the plug? Yes. Okay, yeah, let's do for her and give. I don't want to enter someone's home. Okay, where are, where are they? Let's give her to the niece first. <laughs> Let's see the reaction. Hey, P, P. I forgot his name. Tea for you. For me? Yeah, uh, th Thailand tea. Chao Gulan. Hot, huh? very okay. hot. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no problem. Oh, let's look for the mother. The mom is nowhere to be found. She's there where you need her. When you not when you're not looking for her, she's there. When you are looking for her, she's not there. Just like Nanny McPee. <laughs> you have watched that show, it's an amazing show. Okay. I have no idea where she is. Um I don't know if it's rude to enter their house, even if you're gonna offer them. Hey, go away! No housefly. Yeah, there are some housefly here. Tea for mother. Yeah. Let's see if she's around. Oh. oh my god, this slope is very stiff. Oh, I hope I don't fall. Yeah, I have no idea where she is. Um, okay, let's just put it on the table first. I don't want to. I don't want to be seen as a criminal entering someone's home. I'm gonna show you what the Cambodians does during um it's around 5 pm right now. I'll show you what they do during the day. So I was just coming here this afternoon and 
<laughs> YouTube. YouTube. So beer. This is Cambodian lifestyle. Beer. Beer and peanut. <laughs> Base peanut very good. Yeah. Number one. Number one. Yeah. Okay, you, thank you. You go out, right? Uh, yeah, killing field. Okay, okay. Hmm? Walk, you walk. Walk. Wow. Uh, you huh? might go, do you take bike? I cannot ride the bike. Why not? Huh? I got no license. I never learned. Uh, 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 the bicycle? More heavy than me, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. So come the, back. Huh? When come back? One, two hour? One, two hour. One, two hour. Huh? Hmm, okay. So... Inside, you can uh, take the photo out the photo. Yeah. This is uh, brother number one. Inside. Number one. Only uh, his uh, photo. The big photo. Big photo. Okay. Can. Thank you. So, that's, I think, the brother of um, Chong Da. Okay, we are heading to um, Killing Fields, which is like a, a continuance of Kong Seng Museum. It's, I think it's just been set up by someone, so I just want to see a bit more about um, yeah, the, their whole Buddha history and try to learn from that. So I'm going to uh, Botanical Garden nearby <laughs> and my host, right? He's so amazing, man. So what I wanted is that uh, I want to be able to ride a bicycle back home because it's gonna be dark and you know it's faster that way. Positive side of staying in a rural place like this is you get to experience the hospitality of the local people. However, for this uh, Pacific place, um, there is also a negative side as well, especially if you're a female. So I'm gonna show you how the road looks like when it's dark. Right? There's really no street light, so it's actually not safe for ladies to um, travel back home unless you're gonna spend on a private tutu car. So if you're gonna be staying here, right, to really enjoy your stay here, mm, I think I'm gonna do this review later on. So for ladies or practically for everyone, right, you really need to spend money on tuk tuk. There isn't a train, bus here in Cambodia, so you have to spend on private transport to come back home, and this is the reason why. Okay, this is the village. Which I don't know if you can even see. And well, okay. I think it's the 360. It's not very good in the night mood. So I'm heading out to the street. Yeah, this place looks really, really dark. Um, so two, two coming in. I think Chorda is coming back. Hello, welcome home. Hello. Okay, this is how the street looks like at night. Uh, only a few street lights, very few street lights here. So if you are walking by foot, it's gonna be quite difficult. And the home is actually covered. Um, it it looks like an an alley. So this is the negative. So please, girls, uh, just take a tutu home. The good thing is that the host does offer right back home. He can pick you up if you are somewhere nearby, and he can bring you back home. So if you are trying to walk back or cycle back, it's going to be very hard to do that. So yes, yeah, you can see it's super super dark here. Oh, even okay, even I myself, um, I actually rode a bicycle to some museum nearby and I rode back as well. The, the pathway is really really very rough. Oh, yeah, man. Without an Apple Watch, right, you it's actually difficult for you to actually know how to go back home. Actually, it's not so hard. You just need to have a very good memory in order to come back home. Okay, we are heading back to the room. Right, today is my last night here. And I'm going to give you a summary of my experience here. Okay. Okay, so everyone, this is my first time living with the locals in a more rural experience. Okay, um, this place is called Lumnov Camer Homestay. Um, right, so, first of all, I'll say that this place is perfect 
or I stay here for about five nights and I'm heading back to the town of Samrap tomorrow. So this place is definitely perfect for people who are looking for private tours with your Airbnb host. So you know when you come to a country, right? It's kind of a bit difficult to find a. It might be a bit difficult to find a tour guide that you can really trust. You know, and you don't. You may not always want to have a tour guide from the roadside, you know, who is kind of like a hustling for businesses. So, um, Chon, uh, Choda, Choda has a group, he's quite acquainted with a group of people who will work for him and these are the people that uh, he really trusts his guests to go on tours with. So he have a number of them and some of these um, drivers, right, they are not able to find jobs. So if you do come here, right, you're giving the local people jobs. So definitely I would recommend if you want to come here, right, it's, um, it's suitable for people who wants to go on private tours and you have the budget to do that. And the plus side of staying here is that okay, the bathroom and the bedroom is clean, it's big size. And if, you're, if you want to hit somewhere, right, if you need them to drop you off at a town area or anywhere, they can actually do that. I think if you were to go on the Angkor Wat tour with them, uh, it's about $17 USD for one to group. So if you have two person, you are share, splitting the cost between two. So what they do if, if I'm not wrong, um, they're going to take you, they can wait for you at Angkor Wat. Once you finish, right, they can bring you to another temple. So the temple, as of March 2023, costs... 37 USD dollar for all the temples and that ticket is only by it goes by per day so if you can visit as many temples as you you know you're able to you're actually saving quite a lot of cost so you don't really have to do two days and three days and if you have a tuk-tuk driver right they can bring you around so much faster than if you walk by foot so it's a pretty good idea to have like a private driver a tutu driver that you can really trust and they know where you stay they will send you home and they make sure that you're staying here safely so yes um, if you're looking for a host that um, his character is just is full, full of kindness love and empathy like it's hardworking this you should meet the host like the star of the whole Airbnb stay is really about the host. So if you're coming here and you're not taking any tours, um, this place will not be ideal for you. So going to the point, um, who is not ideal for this Airbnb stay is people who are digital nomad, or if you just want to stay home and you know, if you just want to stay home and watch TV, okay, there's no TV for you. So if you just want to stay home and do your work, you need like blazing fast Wi-Fi. This is definitely not the place for you as well. So it's not suitable for digital nomads. Um, uh, yeah, people who wants like uh, people who wants a lot of facility, like you want swimming pool, you want gym. This is not the place for you. So overall, this place is perfect for those who will go on private tours with the host or his drivers. Yeah, yeah. And you also need to make sure that you have enough budget to actually take a private transport home as well because uh, this is like slightly more outside of town so it can it is pretty dark when you get back home so it's definitely not for someone who wants to walk home or cycle home you have to have the money to take a to to ride home otherwise if you can wait you just let the host know that uh hey can you pick me up i see this place and they can actually pick you up for free and in fact last night i saw my host picking up a um, stranger on the road for free you know it's like it's very kind Okay, so yeah, we talked about who is perfect for this space and who is not. Hmm, the last thing, what's there to talk about aside from this? So, <laughs> so this, oh uh, yeah, um, oh yeah, so I mean, if you want to visit a Chodra's farm, just let him know. Um, if you want to eat Cambodian food, his mom can cook for you. However, you have to be a bit more humble in your expectations because, um, if you're from a big city and you are a clean freak, you may not like the cleanliness of a kitchen. However, right? Um, however, this is more of a rural experience, so this is not your Michelin restaurant fine dining kind of standards. Okay, um, so you have to really balance that out well. What you're looking for and what you're willing to bear with. So for me, um, because I came here because of my dental experience in a Bangkok uh, dental clinic. I spent like four hundred over dollars, and that four hundred over dollars um, was what made me quite broke this month. Um, 
otherwise I would have a proper cash flow and I could have gone on tours so yeah but anyway for if you guys want to find someone that you can trust or if you want to stay somewhere else but you still want to go on tour with Choda and his driver that you can really trust like for example you I just heard that like, you know sometimes um, some to driver outside they may be in Kahoot with someone else who knows right, you might get robbed or you know they'll try to bring you to strange places so here no bullshit they bring you to the best tour experience I think there's uh, not just Angkor Wat and other temples there's also like a fishing village and I'm not sure what else there is because I'm too broke to go on tour right now so guys I'm passing you the contact details and the Airbnb link of Choda's house and his whatsapp number so that you can actually contact him once you're in Siam Rap of Cambodia so everyone enjoy your stay here and again not meant for someone who wants to watch TV at home, wants to have the fastest Wi-Fi. But the Wi-Fi was down for a few days. So that's why I say it's not perfect for someone who wants to stay at home and work all day long. Okay, if you really want to experience, uh, go on private tour, experience the hospitality of local Cambodians. This is the place that you can actually um, stay in. I mean, if you go to hotels, um, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if you stay in a hotel, right, they may arrange some tours, but the price will be hiked up. And, you know, the, the hotel is going to take, like, some cut for themselves. Things like that, you know, all these kind of things going on. But right here, right, um, Chota is really just giving job opportunities to other drivers that shows, that has a good character and can be trusted. Mm, yeah, you know, he's a very nice guy. Um, he's not religious, but I feel that the way he behaves, He's full of um, it feels like before I ask him his religion, I feel that he's he's Buddhist because in Buddhist, right? They a real Buddhist practices um, good deeds, they do a lot of good deeds, they are kind, they give without expecting in return. So, there's a belief that if they do more good deeds, they have more good karma in their life and their next life. So when I observed the way, um, because I was pretty broke and I didn't really have enough money to eat, so I asked if he could actually prepare a meal for me each day and I almost thought he forget, but his mom did cook for me. So that was really, really nice. Um, I was supposed to be staying here for um, a total of like two weeks, but that's actually far too long. So I actually uh, negotiated with him and discussed if whether he can cancel my stay so that I can stay in a cheaper place. Um, a hostel in Siam Rat so that I can have money to eat and make sure I can send myself back to Bangkok. I don't want to be stuck in Cambodia without any money, right? So um, he agreed to it. You know, he really was trying to help. Uh, no conditions whatsoever. So guys, this is my way of repaying him back. So if you do book his Airbnb stay or if you do WhatsApp him to get like a private tour or even just like a tutu, right? If you're able to wait, just uh, use this code or message him. Uh, say that, use this code, AV says hi. So I just want to give them a good surprise um, if you do come to Cambodia. Siam rap, not non pay, okay? Okay, everyone, take care. Bye. By the way, they do provide fruits for the Airbnb biggest. And this, this quam, I think it's quam cat. It comes from the plant over there. Cool, right? Okay, goodbye, everyone.